a thingy. $25. Why am I having such a hard time? Why are you digging in your bed? Why? Huh? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really easy tutorial for you on how I did my own no-sew farmhouse linen looking kind of curtains. They are panel curtains. I just used a canvas drop cloth that I got from Lowe's. You can get them at any hardware store though. You don't have to go to Lowe's. I used the four foot by 15 foot option and I just literally cut it in half to create two panels. The two ends of the panel are sewed, so you just use that. I use little binder looking with clips that attach to the actual curtain rod. And that's how I hung them. The curtain rod themselves was actually custom, I don't want to say custom made, it was custom DIY'd I guess. Um, I wanted a little 12 inch curtain rod. The window we did this on is our master bath and we have like a block window which you obviously can't see through but I wanted to kind of warm up the space and just kind of I don't know be pretty so but linen curtains are very expensive so this was a very kind of inexpensive hack for that but everywhere I looked when I just wanted little end um, brackets or end curtain rods it was impossible to find I couldn't find any that were about 12 inches long I saw a lot of DIYs floating out there on Pinterest using paper towel holders and pipe fittings and I was gonna do the pipe option with the flanges on the wall and the galvanized pipe but friends pipe is expensive pipe is not cheap it was probably gonna be about $25 per 12 inch curtain rod and no so this ended up being nine dollars a piece um we got just a regular curtain rod for a normal window we got two of them the shortest option that they had and my husband used this little cutter tool i don't really know if it has a name the brand is rigid and i've seen my husband use this a thousand times when he does plumbing projects so in my mind this is a plumbing tool so if you really know what this is, don't cringe. But um, the piece of metal just fits in here. There's a little blade right here. You crank this to tighten it. And this just goes around in a circle. And you just keep going and going until it cuts. That way it doesn't squish the metal. You can use those sound effects if you want to when you try it. Um, but this is how he shortened them. And that just made them nice and small. And then I just clipped the little grommets along the panel and hung them how I wanted to. I will show you that in my video. Um, and I just kind of showed you step by step. The video is kind of messy, but it's real life. This is how I did it. The thing that I would recommend is getting the wrinkles out of your drop cloth. I did not wash them. I thought about it. You probably could wash them in cold water and then line dry them. But I just, I just felt like something was going to happen. They were going to shorten and it was just, I was going to have to go buy another panel. So I sprayed downy wrinkle release spray because it speaks my love language. I do not iron. I don't like to iron. I don't have an ironing board. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess you could think some of you are probably thinking, oh, your poor husband. Yeah, so I've been married a long time, and I think I've ironed a shirt for him twice in the past 14 years, if that tells you anything. So we live by Downy Wrinkle Release Spray. This is not an ad. This is just something I use. So when you see the photo of that, that is why. I just sprayed it until it was pretty damp, put it in the tumble dry selection of my dryer, and voila. So um, that's pretty much all I did to get those wrinkles out. Um, it is a very simple tutorial and I love DIY projects that take about 25 minutes. It makes me so happy. So I hope it makes you happy. I hope that you wanted to learn how to make these panels. So if you do, keep watching. So I laid out the drop cloth. This is one side of the panel, and these are the rings that I'm gonna use. Um, so I wanted to show you, excuse the cat, I wanted to show you how I was gonna clip these on there. Um, for the other one, I did it on the window, and I feel like it's easier because then you can evenly just space the clips out on the panel. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. So I went ahead and I took, there are seven of these clips in the pack that I have. You, I believe if you get them anywhere else, there could be any, there could be more. I would maybe get one that has like 10 in there. I'd rather have extra than not enough. For a minute, I felt like I didn't have enough. So 
I think just make sure you have one on each end of the panel. And then I just eyeballed everything and it looked pretty evenly spaced to me. If you want to measure it, you can. My husband totally would. I do not do things like that, so I just really eyeballed it. Um, and then you're just gonna take the little clip And they are actually really strong, which is good, so that your drapes don't come crashing down. Um, and they just clip on there like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip all of them on there. So the space where we're putting these curtains um, is our master bathroom. And I didn't want a rod that ran the whole length of the window because it's a block window. So obviously I don't need to cover the whole window because you can't see through it anyways. But I still wanted the ability to hang curtains so, but these end short curtain rods are, I mean, it's impossible to find them. I think I saw them at Bed Bath & Beyond for like $40 and, um, no. So he literally just took these apart and cut it, took out the plug right here, cut it, and then we just fed them back in. So it is actually still adjustable. We measured these to be 12 inches. Um, just so that it covers the end of the window. Like I said, I, do, I didn't want it to be going the whole width of the window. So you can kind of see how that one is right now. Um, just enough, and it's, I mean, it's obviously just for looks, but anyway, that's how we did that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, hang up this panel really quick. And then what I did is I gathered everything up and you just want the drop cloth to all kind of curve in right here. It's just gonna help them lay better on the window. So like how this one's being wild. And then just get them all to lay like that. And then with my rod, luckily, <laughs> I can just feed them all through there so that they can just hang on there. If not, you would just obviously open them up and thread them on like you would a normal curtain rod. So this is what it looks like finished. You can see they're just like little end pieces. Um, the drop cloth that we used again was 15 feet long and then I just cut them in half. So, and they were exactly in half. So about seven and a half foot long panels. I would say they're about three to four inches above the trim. And then you don't really see the panel. So that end where you have kind of like the frayed bottom, you're not gonna see because of the bathtub. So that kind of worked out, but it's just a really easy and expensive kind of farmhouse hack kind of look. Um, if you're wanting kind of some linen curtains um, that aren't nearly the same cost. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. You feel like it's something that you could do on your own now. If you have any questions, let me know and I will see you guys next time. Bye.